Here's an example of some data. It's a collection of test scores from, from some students and would like to create a STEM plot. This side of the uh, plot is called the stem and this part over here is called the leaf. As we look through the data, we notice that the lowest score is around 40, it looks like, and the highest score is, there. it's pushing a hundred, but nothing's more than a hundred. Okay, so, so, uh, so this row will represent the 40s, the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s. So, so now we'll just work across the data. Notice we've got a 62, so we'll put a 2 right here, and that's representing 62. The next one is 87. So working across here, you can see the 62, the 87, the 81, the 69, 62, 45, 95, right there, and of course 76 and so on. So if I've done it right, here we've got the, the values. 62, 62, 87, 87, 81, there's the 8, and that 1 is the 81. 69, 6, 9, 87, 87, and so on until we get to the very end here. There's the 89, 89. And there's the 64 just before that, 64, and so on. Now, the nice thing about this is once this table has been done this, this first time, we can do that really fairly quickly, then we can reorder the rows so that they're in order as well. This makes it easy for us to order the 40s. There's a 4, 0, 40, and a 4, 5, 45. There's a 60, there are three 62s, then there's a 64, 65, 67, and 69. In the 70s, there's a 71, 72, 73, two 76s, and a 77. Now notice that we're trying to keep these columns lined up really nicely. That way, this really looks like a, um, a histogram, but turned sideways. So there's the completed by hand operation. Let's look and see how, how R can handle this same thing. So here I've pulled up an R console. The nice thing, one of the nice things about working in R is that we can just, because this is an electronic document, I was just able to copy this and then I can bring it over and just paste it into R. Now there's still some work that I've got to do because this needs to be a comma separated file. So I'm going to need to work my way back here and put commas in after each one of these. So I'm working on building this numerical vector. It's going to be an object x. I'm using uh, the cantonate function to put all of those together into that vector. And then we just press enter and there we've got it. If, whenever we need to have that x, then there we've got that set of numbers. And the nice thing is we can look at the stem of X and that will produce this chart. Now notice that what it does over here is counting by twos. So these are the 40s and the 50s. And these are the 60s and the 70s and the 80s and the 90s are, are kind of grouped together. If we need to uh, expand that out a little bit, We'd like to change things until we've got a scale of two. And now that that makes it twice as, as big as this is. So it's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and and so on. So there's the 40, the 45, the 58, the 62, and so on. The idea here is that we're trying to get a feel for what the distribution looks like. Now let's look at that scale for just one more minute, just real quick. Suppose that we looked at this uh, scale 
is equal to four times what it originally was, then these are the the 40s that are less than 45, and these are the 45s, the 40s that are that are 45 and above, the 50s that are less than 55, and the 55 and and above. It begins to split it even more, begins to spread out that distribution more. But this uh, one up here was was the one that we built by hand. Okay, that's the idea of a stem leaf plot, how to do it by hand, and how R can produce the same thing.